so here is the bathroom um, before. It's just a standard bathroom, um, not updated. And there's already a worker here removing stuff. But I forgot to honestly take a picture, so I'm doing a little video. And there's the floor, and there's the shower. And that's it, it's a really small bathroom. And I'm going to show you guys the process of how it transforms. Guys, I just want to let you know that I want to share a little bit of the backstory behind this renovation. I think it is quite hilarious. Um, my husband and I had owned uh, other homes before and, you know, we have never ran into such a dramatic issue with renovating a room ever. Um, I'm going to tell you why, partially because of the pandemic and the lack of workers and just everybody is booked up. So we literally hired contractors and unfortunately they were not, their work was very subpar. There were issues with the tiles and there were things that I had mentioned to them and they weren't listening. And so we had to part ways. And so the project sat and sat and sat. We literally tried calling so many places to try to get someone to come in here. And basically, I'm gonna even tell you, I had everything. I had the sink, I had the vanity, I had the faucet, I had all the plumbing, I had the shower door, I had the flooring, I had everything sitting in my garage, probably for about a full year. So with that in mind, my husband and I just said we just have to do it ourselves. Um, but we took this project on and we did not, we did not perceive that we were going to run into so many issues. Guys, the first nightmare was removing all of the messy tile. The messy tile that was put on crooked and we paused on the project we took all the tiles down but then we sat on it and we kind of figured out what are we going to do now i just completely changed the whole first design um plan that i had so it wound up working out i think i went a little too crazy with my first project i started with plastering the walls i said you know if i'm going to do something that i really love i'm just going to go for it and i was looking up YouTube, I was looking up YouTube videos and I came across this one video where this woman um, had a very similar layout to my bathroom, almost to the T and, um, and size wise as well. And I said, wow, that looks killer. It looks so good. I think I'm gonna do that. Okay, check-in time. I just finished the one wall and I stepped out to go get a pedicure. And as I'm watching this dry, I'm having heart palpitations. I don't know if I did something really, really wrong and stupid or I'm gonna wind up being a genius and this is gonna come out fantastic. It's too late to turn around, it's too late to take it off the wall, so all I have to do is keep going and hope that maybe it transitions better <laughs> maybe because I'm just, maybe because I'm just looking at one wall versus the four other walls that are just bare that could be it but let's just hope <laughs> one weekend I started to kind of be a little concerned <laughs> my daughter came in and she said that it looked like a prison cell inside did not expect this wall to be so brown and I'm kind of having a heart attack because I think it's a little excess. Um, I like it, but I don't know, this bathroom is too small and it almost looks like a little cave. So, plus I thought that the mixture was going to be gray, like gray cement. Obviously cement is gray. I don't know why this one was tan. So I had painted my, ceiling gray and yeah so now i gotta replace i have to repaint the ceiling um yeah so still a lot of work to do i'm gonna actually paint this i'm gonna actually paint this entire here focus i'm gonna paint this entire um bathroom with lime wash um and see what happens 
Oh my goodness, I'm already so tired. I just finished sanding down the wall and I am currently getting ready to paint the ceiling I'm using a Valspar product in the color Luxury Linen and I'm gonna do it all over. I already taped off my light fixtures and my vent. I'm just gonna go for it, guys. I mean, what literally is the worst that can happen at this point? Like, I, it has to go uphill from here. So let me tune you guys back in once I'm done with the ceiling, so. Current situation. <laughs> this is what we're taking down. I, this is first coat, it looks horrible. The ceiling is so dark. It's gonna probably need three coats, but yep. Here we are. Okay guys, it is the next morning and I just started lime washing. Now what you see here is just the wet part. Everything else around it has dried. So you don't really see all too much modeling. I think because the color um, that I used is almost identical so word of advice if you're gonna line wash make sure that you get it tinted slightly darker than the walls um, unless you want it to just have that very subtle modeling just got back from picking up our vanity for our sink and there's going to be black handles on here we have them just pushed in the drawer this was custom made by a gentleman out in pennsylvania i will leave his link and uh, we just dry fitted our cement trough sink. We've had this guy for probably over a year sitting in our garage, um, just waiting for the right vanity. And here it is. So I'm super excited. After that all dried, I took the lime wash and I went to town. I started lime washing it and I'm so excited. And, you know, as it goes on, it's dark, but as it dried, it completely just went away. I think the color that I chose to paint the entire wall and the lime wash actually were too close in comparison. If the light hits it ever so right in the right angle, you can see the model texture of the lime wash. Nonetheless, it made it gave a little bit more warmth, uh, a little bit more warmth to the room. But I was a little disappointed. So what I'm going to do is do sort of like a um, a new lime wash sort of technique in that space. I'm gonna order a darker shade and just put a little bit more texture in there. But I didn't wanna mess with it. I was already exhausted and tired from doing all of that painting and plastering. I just wanted it to be done and over with. So following that was now bringing in the sink from our garage and which is cement. So here's the sink, yay! It looks so good. Such a difference. Ah, coming together. So now we're just gonna put the black faucets and do all of the bath stuff, put up our mirrors and the finishing touches will be very, very soon. I'll come back and share that with you. My whole vision for this bathroom was um, a very wabi-sabi, um, perfectly imperfect bathroom. I wanted something um, a little bit aged, a little bit rustic, and just modern at the same time. And so I think that we pulled it off. So with the tile and the vanity and the sink and all of the wrought iron fixtures, I think that the bathroom all came together. Most challenging part was this shower door, guys. Throw those instructions away. I've even seen videos where we were literally trying to find how to put this shower door up and everyone said that the directions that they come with are absolutely garbage to so throw them out. Look at videos on YouTube that look like your type of glass door and follow their methods because my husband had to watch two videos to sort of figure out um, how to measure the bar. You have to cut the bar and it was a whole rigmarole on how to really get this shower glass door in there. Um, and it was so heavy. It was so heavy guys, but we did it. And, um, we just finished the project today. I actually, as he left for work, he actually took a little bit more time and left for work late, but, um, I was able to put up the mirrors and, um, put up the little towel knobs and just set the carpet down. 
yeah, I think that it all came together very well. This was just blood, sweat, and tears, literally, with this one.